Well, we're starting the day out here at Autocross. We're working the track. Uh, we got Kalen, Philly, and Thompson from our group in, in Group A, and our buddy Dan, and Mike. There's a bunch of people in this group. There's 14 people in run Group A. Uh, Philly's holding down third. A Subaru's back. Uh, the guy that got number one last season. He did like a full STI swap on it. Motor, trans, axles, brakes, all that stuff. Um, pretty cool shit. Everyone out here is killing it. This is the first one group of the day. It's pretty chilly, but gosh, Kaylin's doing pretty good too with blown struts and stuff. She's killing it. She's really killing it. I'm so proud. I just wish I could be racing right now. <laughs> Damn it. We got Mike. First lap of the day. Not bad. Right, we've got the Phil Meister here. You guys want to see more of Philly? He ran a 12 4 yesterday at the track, and now he's autocrossing the car. Fortunately, he did not break an axle like someone else I know, but. Ready, go! He is no joke. And it's still on a base map from Mabo, the stage 2 DSG tune. He's holding down third place right now. Killing it. You look bored. You having fun? Okay. Philly is freaking killing it today.
too much power. Well, this is what the second half of our day was dealing with. Power steering line, it snapped from up there, rubbed against the oil pan there, and put a hole in it. So we had to run out, grab this uh, sealant type tape, and uh, fix that in fluid and zip ties. And now it's okay. But she didn't get to finish her runs. I didn't get to do the second half of the day at all. And now the event's over, but the car's fixed. Two broke cars, one weekend. Fun. Well, what a day. That fix I just showed you did not fix it. It did like for when the car was just like idling, but then we decided to turn the steering wheel and it just like shot right through that. It must be like some super high pressure going through that power steering line. Is that um, self-sealing tape and stuff? Like it usually does work really, really well. Now, I've never used it on something like that, but I did think it would work, but it didn't at all. Um, so, Michael and I, Michael again, the same one that towed my car back, um, we decided to go to like O'Reilly's or something and look for the power steering line. They didn't have one for the M3 and it was like $250. Well, he had the bright idea, he's like, well, I'm gonna bring up one for a 325i the same year. And they brought it up, they had it in stock. So the dude went back, grabbed it, and we, we had brought the line with us, of, of course, and uh, it matched up pretty close, uh, except for the new one was missing one of the banjos that used, used like a, uh, a hard line with a flare on it, but we wound up making it work. Then we got home, so um, rather than two broke cars, I mean, we did have two broke cars, now we just have one broke car, but uh, what a weekend. I'm sorry I didn't I didn't record much. I, I was gonna like record myself in her car driving or something or have her, you know, whatever. It was still a fun day. I did get to, you know, hammer the car a little bit. And uh, it was fun. The first lap I did in her car, I wound up spinning out like 10 seconds into it doing a 360 on the track. It was pretty crazy. It was intense. Um, it was a fun day though, minus that power steering. It, and it, it rubbed so the bracket that held it in place broke. So the whole line, it was like, well, it's two lines, it loops. And where it looped, that's where the bracket is, and it broke. So the line was able to just like flop around and it rubbed on the oil pan until it rubbed a hole in itself and then started pissing everywhere. So um, the new one's in and it's, it should be good. And we check on it here in a couple of days, see how everything looks. But and stay tuned for uh, the video when I finally take my broken axle out. Um, Hopefully by the time you're watching this, I already found a replacement and then it's on its way. Um, we got many, many videos coming up real soon. We have the fuel pump installed, the port injection installed, the uh, initial tune with MPI. We have, and that's like with the, the port injection, it's gonna change the way my car sounds. It should, it should have a lot more like backfiry, poppy stuff that isn't fake, not stuff that put in from the tune. It's like legitimate like pops and stuff. Um, I'm excited for that. I'm excited for a little bit of power gain I should get, but I'm more excited that I know that my valves are gonna stay clean. Um, with direct injection, port, uh, your ports, your valves get a lot of carbon buildup, so that's what we need. Still no word on the turbo. Don't know where that's at, where that's gonna be. But, uh, it'll be here soon enough. We got autocross again in like three weekends, so hopefully everything's fixed and in and ready to go by then. Um, Keep saying, um, I'm exhausted. This weekend, exhausted the shit out of me. It's Sunday night right now. I'm editing this, the second video of the night uh, just to get this stuff out of the way. It frees me up this week. I work second shift, so I go in at two and work till 10 at night. So I have to get up early to work on the car. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the first vlog.